welcome. Ooh, my hands are cold today. I cannot get them warm. It's nice and warm outside in the sun. But, oh, this time of year, sometimes my house is just so cold, I can't warm up. Thanks for joining me today. We are here to do our second installment of our 50 things you can do or track in your planner if you're over 50, but that's just a general guideline. Any, this is really for anybody. I was just trying to get people who maybe aren't that busy um, to, uh, I forgot to put my cactus over here, um, that, you know, don't, maybe don't work outside the home anymore, think that they can't use a planner because they don't have enough to track. So that's kind of my thought process behind this. And it just also gives ideas on things you can do in your planner. So this is my catch all homestead happy planner dashboard layout but yeah today's this video is not a planning video it's strictly going to be writing down i'm going to recap for you the 50 things to track in your planner if you're over 50 or not it doesn't really matter whoops lost my pen so i went ahead and i wrote this is very simple nothing nothing fancy just listing for you what you can do in your planner if you're 50 or over. So, I've written with my Papermate Flare the header and the numbers, but I'm going to use my pen to write. This is a Pilot G2 in the 07, and this was part of the designer series. I'm going to be writing a little awkward today. I'm having trouble with my thumb. It's just a repetitive use injury um, but it's really been flared up lately so i'm wearing this which means i have to wear my fitbit on this arm so writing is like feels weird to me but we're gonna do it anyway so i'm gonna recap and write down the first 15 that we went over last week and i'm gonna write 15 new ones today and then i'll be back next week with 15 more so our first one was we can track appointments planner and that would be for ourselves our pets the kids your grandkids whatever um, meal and menu plan that's a huge one I meal plan and menu plan every week just our dinners you can track your cleaning schedule keep track of your watering your plants watering plants, your house plants, your succulents. Um, you can track your activity, your steps, your, whether you went golfing, whether you went bike riding. Also having trouble with my back today. It keeps spasming on me. <laughs> I'm just a hot mess today, you guys, and I'm supposed to be getting my floors mopped, but that always makes my back sore, so I don't know about that. Okay, track activity. You can track your water intake and track, do you watch your grandkids or kids? I'm just gonna put kids slash grandkids medication. Let's have pets and oftentimes they have medication. Max takes phenobarbital for seizures. So I have to give him his pill twice a day. I have an alarm set on my phone, it barks. So I give him a pill at 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. And then once a month, I have to phone in his refill. You can track your vitamins. These are the ones we've already gone over. So this is just a recap. Wonder why you can't hear Maxie barking. I bribed him with a ribeye bone that I had set aside for him. You track your vitamins. You can track your budget. We'll do that. You can plan your garden, even though... For a lot of us, it's not garden season, but you can start planning it. Pre plan. A lot of people do that. I'm not a huge memory planner, but a lot of people do. You can track gratitude, things you're grateful for. That's a really good one to track. You can track if you do your own manis, manicures, manicure slash pedicure or again with appointments if you get them done 
that's part of your appointments, but you can keep track. A bucket list. We're coming up on spring, so I'm just going to do spring bucket list where we ended last week. So that was our first 15. So now another 15 things we're going to go over today that you can track or use or plan in your planner. Uh, you can do a reading list, a watching list. What are you watching on TV, on Netflix, um, Apple TV, whatever. Keep track of what you're watching. If you're binge watching something, a watching list. So reading list, watching list. You can gift plan. People do that where they'll list out their whole year's worth of birthdays and anniversaries, and then they just keep a list of gift ideas or when they purchased a gift for um, a person, a birthday gift, a wedding gift, an anniversary gift, whatever. Keep a gift list or a gift gift planner, gift planning. Um, you can track your goals week or the month. Um, maybe by the week, three main goals that you want to get done that week or by the month. Maybe you prefer to plan by the month. What are your big goals you want to get done in the month of March? So you can track household projects. I know we've got a lot of those coming up. We are going to be, in fact, I might be in a different filming area for a little while, but we're finally going to get my office slash studio slash candle pouring out oh sorry i just got a spasm in my back um candle pouring room done we've got the paint we're going to get it painted this weekend and we're going to put together my new workbench i will do a video of that for you i'm so excited it's going to be so nice to pour my candles in my studio i don't have to do it in my kitchen anymore so household projects, yes, that is a good one. We've got lots of those. So yeah, my studio room is going to be painted, put together my workbench, um, put trim up around the windows, and get new flooring and finally finish the floor. So my craft room, I call it my craft room, my office, my studio, because it's where I film, but now it'll be where I pour my candles. So it's kind of, kind of a lot of things for me. Um, so household projects, uh, landscaping, out with the strawberries. Do you have any landscaping projects? You want to redo some flower beds, put in a rose garden. You could do a wish list. Maybe whatever it is, a wish list. Where do you, do you want to travel somewhere? Do you want to buy something for yourself. Just any kind of wish list, maybe for things you'd like to get between now and the end of the year. Um, a time tracker. You could tr keep track of how much time it takes you to do certain tasks. Like, um, say you want to only spend ouch, an hour a day cleaning. Okay. Set your timer for an hour, and when it goes off, you're done. So time tracker, you could use that in a lot of different ways. Oops, must have heard something. Off he goes. Time tracker. Uh, let's see. Number 24, because we're only going to 30 today. Business ideas, if you have any business ideas. You know, I'm over 50. I don't work outside the home right now, um, but I am starting up a small candle business. So ideas for my candle business. I have a, a planner, a happy planner that I've already got set up with uh, recipes that I've already used for candles, um, ideas that I want for, I put in there ideas that I wanted for my Valentine's line, my spring line, a stock basic line of candles. So um, you do any kind of business if you're a crafter and you do craft shows, you know, you could track ideas for that. That's a great thing to track. That's a wonderful thing to track. Um, where am I? Is, oh, a procrastination list. 
shots, immunizations, either for yourself or your pets. Uh, maybe keep a record. If you travel, you might have to keep that with you. Um, immunizations record. I don't travel abroad, but maybe if you do, that's something you could keep in your planner. And then you could transfer to your on-the-go passport or whatever, if that's something you need. Um, a prayer list. Make a pretty prayer list. Places to visit. Are there places this summer that you already plan on visiting or that you want, it, you want to visit? Mood tracker. Yep. Then last but not least for today is you could track your... I already put budget, but this one's a little bit different. It's debt and debt payoff. That was another 15. I will be back next week. I will post it on Friday. And it will be, I think we'll do the remaining, we'll do 31 through 50. So yeah, we'll do the last of our 50 things you can plan in your planner if you're 50 and over. And even if you're not, if you're under 50, these are ideas that will work for you as well. So thank you for joining me today. I'm going to go take some Advil and see if I can get this muscle spasm to go away. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys.